hello guys and welcome to youtube channel thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video in today's video i'm going to be sharing my honest opinion on what reverend father george said concerning the minimum way that i've been dragging on for a few weeks i'm not going to waste your time i'll just like first of all watch the video and listen to everything reverend father george have to say concerning the minimum way please don't forget share the video on all social media platforms share with your friends and loved ones and please do me a favor like the video right now and drop a comment thank you so much for doing that watch the video I have been sick of this problem. I have been sick of this controversy over living wage or minimum wage. And I believe that something is seriously wrong with the heads of many of our leaders. How can anyone who earns 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000, not to talk of people who earn 1 million, 2 million, how can they go to sleep in good conscience every day? How can they go to sleep in good conscience and come out to sit down in a boardroom to discuss the sustainability or otherwise of paying 60000 to the poorest of workers? How can we go to bed and sleep all those who belong to the elite who earn two, three, four, five hundred thousand, one million? How can you go to sleep in good conscience, I say? If you still have any conscience how can you go to sleep in good conscience and come out to be debating i hear people on tv i watch people on tv experts economic experts corporate executives government officials who are taking home more than a million in a month and they are there arguing that sixty thousand or over will destroy the economy is not sustainable how wicked you give 60,000 to a poor worker for his, a poor worker who may have a family of two or three or four for his feeding, for his accommodation, for his house rent, for his medical care, for his children's school fees. How wicked, how blind, how can we do that? And we think that God will bless our country we think that it is by bringing a new national anthem for god to bless our country how can you commit this crime against humanity for me this is a crime against humanity because the poor people who cannot afford to buy gary i'm not saying they will buy uh, that, that, that they are to buy sardino i'm saying buy gary poor people who cannot buy gary i'm not talking of meat or fish poor people are dying because they have no ma money to cure malaria. How can you go to sleep in good conscience? Those of us who belong to the elite. How can we go to sleep with good conscience? And we are debating. And we are discussing. And we vote 500 million uh, naira to meet and debate about paying 60,000 to the poor. My dear friends, I see this as a new form of apartheid. Nigeria is the, one of the most unequal societies in the entire world. A society where it's like the animal farm. A society where we have conspicuously rich people. People who are living in conspicuous consumption and others who are in deplorable dehumanizing poverty. If you have somebody in this country that takes home one million naira i mean one million i'm not talking of 30 million naira one million naira in the month and he can open his mouth to be part of a discussion about the poor getting sixty thousand naira i say anyone who earns up to one million naira in the month should keep his or her mouth shut when he hears them debating about taking sixty thousand for the poor Six, more than 60 years after independence, we are running an apartheid society. This time it's not racial apartheid, it's economic apartheid. We are running an apartheid society of people of conspicuous consumption, flying in private jets around at government expense, people who are riding four, five, six, seven uh, SUVs with pilot vehicles chasing the poor out of the road, and poor people you are debating you are discussing you are over 60,000 for the poor you insult the, the poor by saying 30,000 and later you say 48,000 
and now you say 60,000 and you pay more than 60,000 you come out with 62,000 you insult poor Nigerians <clears throat> I say there is hardly any society I know that is as divided as the Nigerian society and a society that is so divided is just sitting on a keg of gunpowder I have warned here before that the revenge of the poor is at the corner the revenge of the poor is at the corner. I am not calling for it, but it will happen as night follows the day. Because when you so reduce people, you reduce people to this dehumanizing level. Nature does not allow a situation of uh, uh, islands of affluence amidst a sea of poverty. Nature does not allow it. Wait, before I continue watching, please do me a favor, like the video right now and drop a comment. By doing this, it triggers the YouTube algorithm to continue to recommend the video to more people. Thank you so much for doing that. Keep watching the video. And let me warn those in the elite. Let me warn those in the tripartite committee of government. Let me warn that it is in the course of nature that when a predator, a predator continues to devour the very resources that the predator needs for his own sustenance. Nature will take out the predator in order to have equi equilibrium, in order to have a measure of equilibrium. Nature is about balance, you know. All of nature is about balance. And human beings are part of nature. And Nigerians are part of nature. If the predator who needs the animals in the kingdom, he needs the animals to survive, if it is recklessly devouring the very animals it needs for its own survival, survival, if it is devouring it recklessly and senselessly, nature will step in and remove the predator so that there can be balance in the system, in the ecosystem. Let me warn that all those who are in government, I hear, I have not confirmed, that there are people taking home almost 30 million naira in the month. And you have the guts and you have the temerity to sit down and your conscience allows you to sit down to discuss about 60,000 naira for a poor worker for the whole month. And you are the one that has all the opportunities of excess code and all kinds of, of perquisites of office. You sit down to discuss about 60,000 and that is all that the person will have in the month. You sit down to discuss this and come out and say this is not sustainable. How is 30 million naira sustainable in that economy? How is it sustainable that the leader has 100 SUVs going with him to the airport? How is it sustainable? How is it sustainable that government leaders junket around the world? How is that sustainable? I say we are committing a crime against humanity. And if we do not repent and retrace our steps immediately, the revenge of the poor is at the corner. Do not hold me responsible. Because while the devastation was on, I did not keep quiet. Do not hold me responsible. Because while the madness was on, I did not sit on the fence. I kept on shouting that the revenge of the poor is at the corner unless we change our course. And if we do not change our course, we will end up where we are headed. And where we are headed is devastation. Is destruction is violent revolution. I rest my case. I'm sure you have heard everything Reverend Father George have to say concerning the minimum wage. You see, it saddens my heart that when we hear people speak like this, instead of us to pay attention and focus on the meaningful thing they are saying, we are focusing on things that don't really matter. I've heard some people condemning what the Reverend Father has said that uh, he, he should focus on preaching and all the rest. Listen, how are we going to make progress as a country, as a people, if we continue to think like this? People are fighting and battling so that their life can at least get to a certain level, a level they deserve. And we are there saying that uh, they, 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 they should go and sit down. Sometimes I wonder how some of us in this country, Nigeria, how we think. It's like some of us who don't have conscience. This is my honest opinion I, and I am not going to be biased about it. I am not going to be biased. I don't hate uh, Tinibu. I don't hate uh, APC. I don't hate anybody. I don't believe in that party nonsense that some of you, you put all your, all your minds on. That is making you think and reason the way you reason. I am not interested in all those party nonsense. 
It is so sad that if you go to the internet, you'll be hearing people, Nigerians, so that are going through what everybody is going through, condemning what this man is saying. Well, I'm not going to be looking at what some ignorant people have said concerning what Reverend Father George have said. I am going to just share my own honest opinion on everything he has said. Please, before you continue watching, don't forget, like the video and drop a comment so you too can continue to recommend the video to more people. God bless you as you do so. As you do so. What Reverend Father George have said for me, it is just perfect. It is everything that every sensible human being needs to hear. Every sensible human being will hear and clap for. But it is so sad that uh, because we are still uh, uh, dwelling on party, 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 party this, party that, that is why we have a problem with everything he has said. For me, I don't have a problem with whatever he has said. Nigeria needs to get better. And if Nigeria must get better, we must learn as a people to learn how to speak the truth. He has said everything that we need to hear. A time will come when the people will not be able to take it anymore. They will no longer be interested in the nonsense that the politicians they are doing. The politicians need to do better. People are suffering. People are going through a lot of hardship in this country. And you want to be paying civil servants, people that do most of the work, people that do the hard job, you want to continue to pay them peanuts. Why the senators are there raking a big amount of money? Why not reduce the payment of these senators who all they go there to do, all they go to the parliament to do, or what do they call the senators to do, is just to argue, talk, say things that is not bringing any real progress in Nigeria. Why? It doesn't make sense to me. And it is important that all Nigerians start thinking in this light, start being honest. Start being honest because you cannot say, okay, just imagine. I was going through a content just a few days ago and they are saying that uh, 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 the senators, people in the Senate, they, they are, newspaper allowance is between 600 to 800,000 naira per month for newspaper allowance. Their, their personal assistant allowance is also between 600 to 800,000 per month. Calculate, if you calculate all these people, they, all everything these people they are taking home, <clears throat> it's almost 10 million naira or more than 10 million naira. And you can't reduce, take away the newspaper allowance. Who reads newspaper again? Take away that allowance from all that they, they, they are pay. Reduce their pay. Reduce some of the nonsense uh, payments you, you, you give to them. And use it to give to the people that deserve this thing. This civil servant, they need it. They are saying that they are demanding for 250,000 naira. Yes, they should be paid as much as that. If senators are taking home at least 10 million naira, why not reduce their money to okay, 7, 7 million so you can pay these people? What is okay? In, uh, oh, the thing uh, this is our country. You are asking for 60,000 naira, not even to say, okay, let's make it 150,000 naira. In this current economy, you that is defending what this government is doing, ask yourself, ask yourself, you are in this country, what can 60,000 naira do now? For especially, just imagine a man or a woman who, that, that have about three children or even two children. What can 60,000 naira do for a family? What? A person of Gare is now about 25,000. Some people are saying that it's 28. I'm hearing 30. But I know that in my area, it is about 25 to 26,000 Naira. A person of Gare. A person of Gare that used to be sold for 3,000 plus. So my opinion is that the government should increase the salary of these people to at least 150,000 Naira for now. That 60,000 Naira they are talking about, it doesn't make sense to me. It does not make sense to me at all. So they should increase the money for them. They deserve it. Me, I don't understand all this one. People are, are, are saying that uh, the thing I don't, I don't even want to talk too much. They should increase the salary for the people. Hundred and fifty thousand naira minimum, at least. That what is sixty thousand naira? What can sixty thousand naira do? If you buy one bag of uh, uh, gare, uh, one basin of gare, what about rice? What about rice? So these people, the senators will be going home with almost ten million naira, and you are coming to pay civil servants just sixty thousand naira. It doesn't make sense. We need to call a spade a spade. That is one thing I don't like about most of us in Nigeria. We don't know how to speak the truth because of politics, because of money they give to us, because of uh, we don't know how to speak the truth. And the earlier we know how we learn to speak the truth, the better for us. We must start speaking the truth and speaking up for the people because if we don't speak up, how who is going to speak for us? Who is going to speak for us? So please, I want to urge the government to please 
give these people what they want if you cannot give them the 250,000 naira i am hearing that they are asking for at least 150,000 naira will not be bad it will not be bad at all please i urge the, the government to at least do that that is my own honest uh, opinion that is what i feel and that is what i think they should do thank you so much for watching the video please do it to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so whenever i post another video you'll be notified if you're returning subscriber i want to say thank you to you thank you for always stopping by to watch our video we love and appreciate the support uh, you give us on this channel may god bless you may god reward you i'll see you in the next one you are blessed